Hey, this camera's going. So y'all can get started if you want. Here, I'll pull this up. Like that dude said, them kids, college students use Adderall to study. Right. They be right. sniffing Adderall so they can stay up longer. Right. All that shit, man, they using now that they think is beneficial to them, man, that shit gonna turn against them at a high level, man. It's gonna cause, cause uh, what about all un them? unimaginable. Uh, it's like all them birth control shots and bitches be taking. Unimaginable group of uh, uh, you, you ever had anxiety, man? Yeah. Anxiety. Feels like the walls is closed in. Every day. Man, most likely turn these people into zombies and monsters. Not just through the technology, <laughs> the people doing it themselves. The people doing it more for themselves, man. Man, look at their diet, the way they eat. That's the worst. They huh. want fucking shoving swine's flesh into their mouth every day. That's it. Right. You ain't gonna be looking too good when you're 50 years old eating swine's flesh every day. And you see the same old motherfuckers you grew up with. They had that bad diet. What do they look like? They look like a pile of shit. Everybody I grew up with, for the majority, a lot of them, they got that bad diet and it shows. You look, they look old, worn out, all tired looking and shit. You know what I mean? Right. You know some motherfuckers may have been overweight. They lose some extra layers of skin. Just yeah. hang. Oh man, this little shit is disgusting, man. <laughs> a little skin. A little excess fat. Sell you like and I. Sell you like look like a fucking uh, look like a heart. Look like a heart. Heart got on the skin. Here's how I'm sell you like look like. Like these women, these women don't eat right. They be eating all that swine, eat pork every day. And then after they eat all that swine's flesh, they just sit on the couch all day, watching TV. Don't even be moving, you know what I mean? Fat just building up. Don't sweat. Disease is just festering. You know sweat, I mean? the sweat. Yeah, no sweat. Yeah, no sweat. Yes. Barbara's 11. And that's part of that curse, though, living in these modern cities, is everybody stays inside a house all day, sitting down. That's like the most unhealthiest thing you could do to it yourself. It is, man. That's awful, man. That's awful, yeah. You should both be outside in the, in the earth, you know what I mean? Under the sun. Not uh, up in a, a dark room all day. Because you get sick as fuck if you don't get no sunlight. Go ahead. Proverbs 11 and 17. The merciful man doeth good to his own soul. But he that is cruel trouble if his own flesh all right so when you break into commandments of the lord you hurting yourself just like the scripture that says the a man that commits adultery destroys his own soul you know what i mean because really you just hurt yourself so how you doing the wicked working for the secret work but to him that so righteousness shall be a sword a sword before yeah so we out here sowing righteousness which is yeah. teaching the holy bible that's the devil. That's the El Diablo. That's that's Satan. As righteousness tended to life, so is he that pursueth evil, pursueth it to death. Right. Yeah, so these fools, they got problem with the commandments of the Lord. That's good. It's going to end up with your death. You know what I mean? You're going straight to the fucking pit. And you can see it. That's why the Lord called this the Valley of Dry Bones. Oh, wait, the Valley of Dry Bones? I'm ready to work away. <laughs> These people, they already dead. They, they, we, you know what I'm saying? They walking around dead. They spiritually dead. They definitely. So they kill themselves smoking cigarettes, smoking weed. 
Right, you know cigarettes kills you, but you still smoke. I used to smoke cigarettes, but one day I got smart and stopped. I was like, God damn, I'm starting to whistle when I breathe. That's probably not good. I was whistling when I, I, I just, in the hell, exhale, I'd be like, but that's not good for you, you know what I mean? But that's obvious, but they, they spend, cigarettes is expensive too. Here it is, the devil, the devil knows the cigarettes is bad for you. Highly addictive, highly addictive. More addictive than heroin probably, right? Nicotine. Yeah, nicotine is a motherfucker. So, the, on the thing that is highly addictive and they know that you want the most, they put a heavy ass tax on it. Because without taxes, the cigarettes would cost what? Probably a dollar a pack? All that, all that, cigarettes are like what? Six fifty a pack now, I think? For the good shit? Over six dollars, I don't buy that shit. I just know people to smoke. And I, I asked them recently how much it costs. They almost all the whole prices and taxes. And this devil knows. So he hit your ass with a double whammy. He's gonna kill you with the cigarettes and he's gonna make you broke at the same time. It's a win-win situation for the Esau. That's crazy. That's crazy. Cause really the cigarettes are like eugenic sticks. That's part of the eugenics program is to get your ass smoking cigarettes. And it's not even a natural form of tobacco. They take it, you know, natural form. It's not a tobacco leaf. They take it, they process it, put some fiberglass filters on it. Oh, I'm sure that's great for the lungs. Smoking fiberglass has got to be great for you. Well, the filters are made out of fiberglass, ain't it? The filters? Yeah. Glass. All kind of weird shit. You don't know what's in that. And then they got a damn warning on the, the cigarettes that tells you it kills you. And you still smoke it. They can double the price of cigarettes as it is now, and they still want them. They'd have to because they're so addictive. Mm -hmm. I hope they do. They already have doubled it. Yeah, they're going to they gonna keep up in the price on it. That's good, though. Because you got to be retarded to smoke cigarettes. They're not good. There's nothing good about a cigarette. You know what I mean? They fucking stink. You ever be around a woman that smokes oh. cigarettes? You go give her a kiss and... Her hair just smells like a goddamn Newport, you know what I mean? Her breath just stinking, yeah. That's the strongest smell in Newport, man. Yeah, that and the, all them shit stink, man. All stink. Stinking ass cigarettes. <laughs> the Newport. Hey, that's funny too, Newport cigarettes. Who smokes the most Newport? Mostly it, Jake's, right? Jake's. Love Newport's. It wasn't a. This is smoke for people. Wasn't uh, Newport, Rhode Island, like one of the biggest slave ports in America during the slave trade? Was Newport, Rhode Island? It was one of the biggest slave ports. That's just one of them uh, spiritual coincidences, right? Because them cigarettes got a lot of y'all in slavery. Cause I know a lot of y'all brothers probably watching the cigarette, uh, watching the watching this, watching the video, puffing on a port like. Oh, no. You know what I mean? I'm feeling salty right now. Hey, you gotta put that shit down. Hey, that's the spirit guy that's talking about it. We don't ever talk about cigarettes. But a lot of brothers are being the truth. Hey, when I first came with the truth, I was still smoking cigarettes. That's why it takes a minute for you to get right. You ain't gonna be keeping all the commandments perfectly overnight. Just instantly. Right, when I first was, came in the truth, I was smoking cigarettes, man. And it took a minute for me to get, to get rid of that, you know what I mean? The dreads? Yeah, he had dreads. Uh, every week, we was like, you need to cut that shit. Like, you feel more clean anyway with a, with a straight, normal hairdo, you know what I mean? All this wild shit popping up on your head. Curse. The curse. The curse. Hey, what is that? <laughs> God damn, we a byword among our, the own, own, own people. God damn. It, oh, yeah. It's smoking that port. You know, the eugenic sticks. It's them death sticks. That black woman is a curse, man. You a fool. Huffer and you're crazy. You're crazy. She ain't going to love and brace you. I mean, ain't no wrong one to hit it, though. But you ain't. Hey, look, caution. Caution, yeah. Beware. yeah. You know? Oh. That red song is. Oh, yeah. But that bitch is a curse, man.
Yeah, cause that's one of them dark holes. Like once you go up in that hole, there might not be no coming back. You know what I mean? That's like you know. You ever watch that movie, The Hole? Yeah, yeah. Or something like that. From Lumber. They go down that dark cavern, and there was like evil monsters down there and stuff. You know what I mean? Oh man. <laughs> You don't want to go to that cavern. You want to see the one the movie where they went down and they were over in, uh, over in Scotland and Ireland going through those underground cities. I think that's the one I was thinking about. That's some shit right there, that's man. That. It's not called The Hole. That's and, a different movie. And I watched a documentary on it. That shit's real. Yeah, the all the, the underground cavern. And, and they go on forever and ever, man. They say they're like that down in South America, too. Uh, Central America, mm -hmm. by, uh, during, uh, in the Maya region. That's cool. Hey, I'm not even curious to go down here, man. You forgot I had the most powerful flashlight last forever? Nah, but nah, uh-uh. They went down there, man. Yeah. They was going places, and they was finding, I'm talking about the documentary. Yeah. And they was finding dead bodies, skulls, you know, just the yeah. skeleton. Just the skeleton. Just the man. And you trying to get me to go up in there? Mm -mm. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. And right above those whole, those tank, those, 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 uh, the abyss, there's people just walking normal in the city, man. Not knowing what's beneath it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Esau take a whole expedition down to that motherfucker. Right. right. And enjoy it. Yeah, he would love it. Esau, camp out down there. Esau want to go climb Mount Everest. He'll come up two weeks later. Honey, I look. <laughs> like, who in their right mind would be like, yeah, I'm going to go climb to the top of Mount Everest. <laughs> right. I'm not going up there. You can't even breathe up there. That's fucking scary. I'm not going up there. They gotta take oxygen. Up and there's there, nothing man. up there. You get up there, what's up there? Nothing. <laughs> Death. Death. That's all that's up there. Nothing that's special. It. No prize. There ain't no secret chest with a uh, with a some gold in it. Nah, you get up there, it's, it's death. No oxygen. and some a gust of wind and knock your ass off. Take it off. Like that. Uh, that's what Esau's into because Esau doesn't respect life. That's crazy, man. That motherfucker go up there and spend their days. Yeah, it just days. And he had cooking supplies with him. And, I mean, just name it, man. He take all that shit. He got a little heathen crew with him. Yeah, yeah. Taking them up there, yeah. paying them swell. Well, uh, you ain't gonna get me up there. I'm not even going 50 foot up that motherfucker. Uh uh. I wanna ask one of these people next time they go by, man. They went on an adventure like that, man. Because you know how many talk motherfuckers walk up and they, I've been, I've been here, I've been there. Well, I was in the Marines, and we did. We was forced to do mountain training, mountain climbing, rappelling, mountain climbing. And it was always the Edomites who, in the spirit, I didn't know they was the Edomites at the time. But I knew we was different. It was like these goofy, uh, big, douche, douchey-ass white people, right? They was creepy, and they always kept to themselves. And they was the only ones that, that was trying to climb the hardest rock. You know what I mean? Actually, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's his natural <laughs> habitation. Because Esau comes from Mount Seir. He's used to the mountainous regions and the Holy rocks. Shit is what, you think, how you think, so what? Doing the harder shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's but, so smart. Yeah, he's but, stupid. Yeah, but you, you see Jake just holding on to the clip. Uh-uh. Like, I ain't going problem. no farther. I'm staying right here. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, then Esau that just, me. and Esau just flying up that motherfucker like him, hanging on by a pinky finger like everything is good. I'm okay. What you do with your food? Yeah, I mean, some of that shit's fun, but fuck that shit. Let me go into this one. Deuteronomy 28 15. You know, we're talking about this unhealthy ass, undisciplined, evil Israelites. Yeah, is undisciplined. Your... Undisciplined is the key word. Go ahead. <laughs> what is your country fast? If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, don't this day mean Christmas, uh, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And yeah, you can see all our people, they've been overtaken by curses. And you can see that curse. These bitches look crazy as hell. If they don't look crazy and ugly as hell, they're a fucking just straight up whore. 
instead of beauty, there's burning. Instead of beauty, there's burning. Burning instead of beauty. Such a threat. Oh, hey. That's bad, man. That's that fear. Man. Hey, that black bitch who walked by, she was looking, she just shook her head like, Patriot. we was the most disgusting thing on earth. Cause she, I've been seeing her downtown. <laughs> the same woman. I seen, I, I seen her downtown and she did the same thing down there. Right. Disgusting thing. Cause you know, she going from here downtown and she's going to change buses down there. Right. And she's going to take her ass back to her roach infested house. Right. Yeah, you know that bitch got all kind of roaches. Roasted them motherfuckers. Yeah, roasted. Roasted them. Because that bitch will eat them if you put some white seasoning in them. What's up to eat anyway when they eat them? Shrimp? I don't know why she would do that to her family members. She loves them? <laughs> ask Esau. Ask Esau, man. What's up, Esau? Hey, can I ask a quick question? Uh, hey, you ever go on vacations overseas? Yeah, I we like. What type of vacations? Like, uh... Expeditions. Uh, Spelunking. You ever climb Mount Everest? No. No. <laughs> but he has though, right? Oh, yeah. He said he has though. Wait, you, could, you had Esau if you went on vacation overseas. Oh, of course, certainly. <laughs> right. Haven't you? Well, fucker, we, m most of us ain't never even been out of our own hometown. <laughs> and if we did, it's because only reason we ever got to leave the country is because why? We would join the military. If I never joined the military, I would have never got to see other parts of the world. That you can't afford to. And then the devil got us trapped up in this business. And now, like a lot of us, you think you can go on a trip, you can go get a passport, and you can go get on a plane, they'll tell you that you're a flight risk. You're on the list. Yeah, a lot of us came to get passports. They got little secret lists and shit. They, they only give it to who they want to. And a passport ain't cheap either. They don't want you, everybody. I mean, it's it's affordable, I guess. It's over a hundred dollars. You know what I mean? They don't give them away. It takes a while to get them. You get a, you go down to the. Yeah. I think I heard someone take some one person. Took nine months, six months, three months. Really? Yeah, with a passport. That's all I've been about. People that was trapped in the world. I appreciate the picture. Pictures, but I took about a, about a, a month. You know? But well, where in the world do I want to go? This shit's. I don't know. After a while, he probably gave me some future There's no escape. <laughs> First of all. I don't know, man. I mean, it, the whole world's been contaminated. There's nowhere to flee to. You're going to get the same shit that you see here everywhere else, but worse, probably. They're going to clean to you. They're going to clean to you. I definitely ain't going to no goddamn heathen country. Uh-uh. I will never, until the kingdom of heaven is established on this earth, I will never, I promise you, I will never go to India. Oh, hell Hell no. We ain't going there if I pay. You know what I'm saying? Somebody pay for the trip. Uh-uh. You ain't going to get me caught up in a foreign no. land around no heathens like no. that. Them motherfuckers are too goddamn creepy. Mm -hmm. and you, I definitely ain't going to no Muslim country because they will have me stoned. I probably last. I, I, we might last a couple of days in a Muslim. We will blast me the hell out of Allah. You know what I mean? We be dead. Ain't going to Israel. Oh, definitely ain't going to Israel. First. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they, they, easy, they find out we call ourselves Israelites, too. Yeah. They're coming after your ass. So the Lord got us here for a reason and a purpose. Yeah. Don't, go to, don't, go to, don't go to Africa. Hey, as much as I hate Israel, our own people, hey, I don't want to live around nobody else, really. You don't want to go living amongst heathens. Yep, fuck that. Sitting down at the fire looking at you baking. <laughs> That's a reality, man. It's going on right now as we speak. Cannibalism. Count off. 
Oh, look at that from the scriptures here. Deuteronomy 28 and 16 now. Damn, we've been invaded. Curse. <laughs> it's an invasion. <laughs> the enemy is coming. Like that. Yeah, I know. That might be Jay stuff. Because some of us kind of keep the stuff, you know. But I'm still going to call me heathen, though, just to put that vibration out there. You know, we, we don't accept heathens, you know what I mean? Curse shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Are right, we cursed in this city right, right now? We, we're surrounded by heathens. Israel is not supposed to have heathens living anywhere in our vicinity. Only his servants. You know what I mean? Not run around loose, walk around. We got heathens just walking down the street doing what they want, he doing shopping. Change. He's on the loose, bro. They just let them loose. How y'all doing? Do y can I ask you a question? Do you believe heathens should be allowed to walk around freely? I'm sorry? Heathens. You know what a heathen is? A he heathen? Heathen. A heathen. Is it? What country are you from? I'm from Malaysia. From where? Malaysia. 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 Oh, that's yeah. a different country. Yeah. I watch a lot of videos from Malaysia. Oh, yeah. Brothers riding around on the freeways, man, on motorcycles flying, man. Because they don't have restricted laws like they have here, man. They drive a little freely there. Um, not really. Not I'll, really? I'll, well, that's on the videos. You can see what that's what they're doing, though. There's a lot of big races down there, isn't there? Oh, okay. Hey, uh, what do you like better, Malaysia or America? I mean, both countries has, like, the different specialty, I guess. It's a, it's a developing country, though, right? Yeah, it's, they're, it's they're a, that's rich. That's what I was saying, man, on the freeways, because they're the motorcycle, the largest CC motorcycles are more common there now, which they weren't common there 10, 15 years ago. They rode scooters and lower CC bikes there. But yeah. now the larger CC bikes is more common there. That's what I was saying. I watched the videos of the brothers riding the big bikes there. Malaysia's flying around the, uh, the freeways. Yeah, that's man. one of the biggest seaports in the world. Malaysia, yeah, that's huge, man. So what do you think about America? You know, Spagus is over the conquering and shit. Yes. Do you think America is a great nation? They like them boys over there, man. Yeah, America. I guess. It's yeah. a big like country. I mean, it's it's awesome. what, what's so great about it? Um, I would say like economics. I don't know. That's why, why he The here. money? Yeah. You know? Oh, I like that. I like that. What, what, like that. We know the money you know? in your what's United States dollars is worthless. You know that, right? Really? The money is made I mean, out of money is made out of paper. Yeah, obviously, money, all the money are made out of paper. It's funny money. It, it's fake money. <laughs> it's not even money. Look, at hey, who got a dollar bill? I ain't even got no money. I don't even have no fake money. I don't have dollars. Look, you look on a dollar. What does it say? Um, Federal Reserve note. Oh. That's why they call it a dollar bill. If I give you a bill, what is that bill? That means you owe me money if I give you a bill. Really? This is a bill. How is that? Just if you gave if you gave it to Well, you know what I'm saying. It's a bill, bro. Uh -huh. it, this is not money. This is a Federal Reserve note. It's not money. Money is gold and silver. Yeah, obviously money Precious is gold and silver. Good money, uh, money is also food, water. That's real money. Women is yeah. money. Gas. Y'all uh, seen the video hidden? Huh? Y'all seen the hidden videos? What's that? Hidden, hidden one, what? two, and three. Nah, what's up with them? They videos that need to be watched because it's so ironic. I just watched those videos last week and it's saying the same thing. Jesus is a Negro, not a white man. You ever read the Bible? No. You ever been to church though? You ever been to church? Yeah. Yeah, because the Bible tells you that the Lord was a yeah, how do you guys Jesus Jesus I mean, we are here teaching the Bible, but we teach other. Mm -hmm. We just teach all things that are true. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me make it to my camera. Oh, no, we got five minutes. One thing they didn't teach you is that we're not African. That's why they don't. Yeah. What are we then? We're Israelites. That's why you see us out here doing this. Because we are the biblical Israelites. The people that when you read the Bible, the Bible speaks of Israel this, Israel like that. Jacob. Let me the seed of Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. That's us. It ain't it ain't everybody like him, dude, right here. You know, he, his people didn't have nothing to do with this book. Nothing. But they are a character in this Bible though, the bad guy. Those are that's a biblical Edomite. That's a devil. Satan. That's Satan. a devil. Wait, what, what it's a serpent. Because he's the Lord made him devil. The Lord put a devil on the earth to 
you know, pretty much curse us. Yeah, already know. Conquer us. Yeah. Conquer us. You know what I mean to be conquered? Yeah. Conquered. Yeah, you know? they, they said something about being conquered too, but right. it takes to conquer a whole, basically, place. Nation. They couldn't even to, to that oh, place. Right, right, right. And that's what I'm, uh, that's the spirit too. That's what I'm reading through the line. I'm about to go back to Yeah, it. go ahead. Damn, my Bible is hit. Finish with the heathen. Right, oh, you don't know. All right, yeah. bro, you can listen, though. Yeah, I think you're right. It's okay. I don't know. It's okay. Two-thirds of our people are heathen. Two-thirds of our people are heathen. That's the majority of the people. 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 That's the majority of the That's going to be the new EVP. There's gonna be a chip in your in your head or your head. What you gotta do for the Christmas show? I just gotta work actually. This is my the Christmas gift for work. Uh oh, uh, you know you know. You know what? Take you take your gifts home. I am. It's his, right? No, it's mine. <laughs> now you know what the scriptures say about Christmas, don't you? Well, here we go. Oh, uh, we gonna have to get it. <laughs> uh, here we go. We, we in that marriage. You ain't never read the Bible, so you don't know. Then we in that jolly spirit right now. Right. We about, we about to get a good old jolly old scripture. Got her. <laughs> Got her. We, we going to give you some of that holiday cheer right here. So listen to me. What that video was saying, pretty much saying our people are destroyed for a reason, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the exactly scripture right. says our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And you can see our, they have no knowledge. We are destroyed for lack of knowledge? We are. De we are. You can see it. Because we don't know our knowledge and that's why we're we are being... That's common sense. It is. Okay. Go on, bro. Jeremiah 2 and 2. Now listen, this is the book of Jeremiah. This is the Bible, right? They said the Bible fake. No. Nah. Well, that's, that's a devil saying. Yeah, that was not Satan to say that. That's a demon that gave me that message. The Bible is fake. If it's fake, then why is it right here being preached around the world? You know why saying? is it the number one all-time bestseller? Right, right. The Bible is fake. Right. Not everything. I mean, if, if you brought up, anybody who says that they came out here and talked to us, we we make them look pretty silly, you know what I mean? Because people who say the Bible is like, we already know all the arguments they come from. If the Bible's great, check this out. Because all the all, all the churches they all celebrate Christmas, right? Yeah. And they all put Christmas trees in their house, mm -hmm. and they all got Bibles. Mm -hmm. But see, the thing is, people don't know what the Bible actually says, and that's the problem. That's right. Everybody. That's that's the real problem. Hey, hold on. Let me well, you know, go ahead with it. Well, the main thing is uh, going back to our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Our people, yeah, you can get that. But we, that Christmas scripture, that Christmas scripture, just stays up there. Just don't forget it. <laughs> Y'all get that um, while you get it. Our people, not having knowledge, they go for for their spiritual help and knowledge. They go to an actual person that has none himself. That's why they have these churches all through the black community. Uh -huh. Okay, all through the black community. So when you go to church, you may have they may have the Bible in their pulpit, right? And they have it open, but they don't actually read.